Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hey guys. Hello. We hope you're okay and everything is great in your life. Um, how are you, Alex? I'm doing good. Today it is a rainy day, but I'm doing good because we are in vacation. Yeah. Yeah, but it's raining like all the time, but you know, it's friends, so whatever. Uh, today's episode is about, uh, as you could see in the title, the fear of failing, uh, this topic. Uh, so that's a deep topic, but very imp important for Alex and I. Yeah. Uh, just before we, we begin, we have to say that it's just our point of view. So maybe failing for us is not the same that failing for you. So yeah, I think it's really important to say that because yes. success, you know, success is, has a different meaning, uh, for everyone. So I think failing too. Yeah, um, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so to begin, Alex, yeah. how can you define failure? So that, that is really hard to, to define because in my everyday life, it's not like defining, you know, it's not defining a to-do list. Like I did not achieve to, to do some basic task, but it's more mm. like for, for example, my high school diploma, I had in mind to graduate with honors, which I did. So I'm very proud of myself. But, um, if I did not achieve that, I would be like, oh, I did fail, which, yeah. which is not the case because I still get my high school diploma, yeah. which is a big thing. So, um, yeah, failing for me is really, I, I don't know how to say that, but, um, yeah, it's when I didn't, I don't achieve what I had planned in my mind. So that's yeah. weird. And, okay. um, also I tend to think I'm failing when I'm doing something like when I'm in, in the process, for example, I don't know, I'm learning to play the guitar. I would be like, okay, I'm, I suck at, at this. Mm. So I'm, I'm failing, which I'm not again, because I'm yeah. learning and, yeah. uh, that's really, this, that is a really bad mindset because if you think you are failing while doing something, you're going to be like, okay, I'm not bad. I'm not good at this. Um, I'm not going to, you know, follow this. I'm going to quit, which is not the point mm. you're learning. I think it, it, it's also part of the process, but when you're young, you're like, oh, I can't do it. Uh, like right away. So maybe it's not just for me, but we don't have this mindset of you have to work for it to, to have it. Yeah. So yeah. And um, how, how would you define failure and failing for you? I think you're right, uh, about many points, uh, especially the fact that you, you put you, how can can i say that like you have a pressure like of the society but also of yourself because yeah uh you know having the high school degree is something but you like you have your own pressure about having like distinctions or owners and i think it's part of you know this fear of failing because you have so many worries about the goal, like the results that um, you have to do it. And you, I think also failing is more like you focus more on the result than the, um, the, the path. process. You, yeah. Yeah. The process and what you learn. Uh, I sent you a video about it yesterday. Yeah. I don't know if you watched it, but, um, the girl said that, um, uh, it was like, um, often we think like, uh, like destination is more important, which but indeed isn't, isn't yeah. a destination it, that is important. Yeah. yeah. You so, told me that. Yeah. Failing is defined as something who went in a wrong way or something we could not achieve because we did not have time or skills or whatever. So it's very general, but, um, everyone has his own definition, I think, uh, especially because of their own experience. So, yeah. And I think also 
a parents or I don't know, even if you have a little yeah. brother or sister, you need to teach them how to not be sad when they are failing. Yeah. Because just like you said, it's about having a growth mindset, mm -hmm. um, being able to reflect on what you did, what you what you have learned. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, that is very important to grow this um, mindset. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> But I think also when you're young, it's really difficult because you think, for example, let's just take the case of school. We think, oh, I need to have a good grade for my parents, even if they didn't ask for it. You know, yeah. you just want them to be proud of you. And you also, if you have uh, siblings, you tend to, even if you don't want, you tend to compare yourself with what they did in the past. So it's it's really complicated to manage this mindset. Were you like that when you were younger? Um, I think like, especially about grades, I wanted to have good grades, you know, uh, because I, I'm, I'm the last one, you know, uh, about yeah, kids. You have, I am the yeah, youngest one. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I can't like, you know, um, disappoint your disappoint. parents it's exactly so i didn't like compare myself to um my sister and my brother but i compared myself um in like about their reaction to to like uh, life difficulties um because we don't have the same uh reaction for example my brother even when he he were young he was like, okay, I had a, a bad grade, so I need to work more and to understand why. And me, it was not like that. I was like, oh, I got a bad grade. Right. I'm going to cry away okay. for a second. Um, and then we're, we're going to see it later. But my, I remember like my brother was like, he was just um, going back at home and he was like, okay, I need to work. I need to understand why. And I was like, ew. He was an adult before being it, you know. That so. is so cool, like seeing your brother having this mindset and you, yeah. but now you have evolved, can I, I can say yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you also have this great mindset. Um, for me, I am the oldest, so I don't have, I don't have an older brother or sister to compare myself. And also, I think I've never worked for my parents because they always, yeah say to me oh you're working for yourself so if you want to have a good grade it's for yourself it's not for us and mm -hmm. i think that is why i'm so harsh on myself and um what i want to have in my life because i do work for what i want and you know me when i work like i do work a lot <laughs> so yeah so yeah but so, uh, my, my parents didn't ask for you know me to have a good grade just want you to be but happy. But also, my mom is a teacher, so maybe there is a part of it because my first yeah. years uh, at school was with her. Uh, so maybe I don't know. Whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, did you did you ever experience a, like a huge failure that had real bad consequences on your mental or? in your life in general we're getting serious here yeah. um from what i can remember i did not experience a huge failure you know i did experience like a bad yeah. grade um did fail some tests music tests anyway but um i think that I, that is why i'm scared i'm so scared of failing because i've mm -hmm. never like i don't know what it what it feels like to to fail like a big thing for example you've been working your whole life for um I don't know. What can I take as an example? I don't know. Uh, okay, growing a plant. Mm. The beautiful sunflower that you want to grow. And then suddenly um, there is a storm and then bam, your, your plant is dead. And uh, I've never experienced that in my life. So mm. yeah, I think that is why I'm really scared of failing. But I know that you did recommend me a podcast. Um, I think we're going to link it in the description. Yeah. It is again it's from, in, yeah. Yeah, it's in French, so maybe not everyone could understand, but. It's whatever. from Chloe Bloom. 
And uh, I know she she said in her podcast that failing uh, way later in your life is going to be more impactful because you had all this time to fail. And then when you reach, I don't know, 25, 30, and then you fail at this moment, your world is going to be crushed. So I think failing um, at a younger age can be more benefit for your life and your mental health too. So I'm not saying that I want to fail. <laughs> that is not what I'm saying, but I think everyone should experience a little bit of failure in, in her, his life to get yeah, to, I don't know, we say in French, rebondir, which means um, take like the, all the sadness and the, I don't know, I don't, negative things to be better and um, get back on the scene. Rebondir. Growing up. So, yeah. And um, Leslie also is a huge part of my life as a friend, oh. of course. And she always tell, telling me, tell, tell me, sorry, that <laughs> Alex, it's not, you know, you can't fail. It's not a, a big, a big deal. You just need to get back on your, on your track and you need to, re, to, to retry to, you know, and it's really like, it's really, really great to have a friend like that because I think I, I already told that in the last episode that I was a perfectionist. <laughs> That is really sweet of you. Uh, you can't see, but um, we're on Zoom, so she's putting emojis anyway. And uh, I already told that, but I'm a perfectionist, so um, I want everything everything to be great, whatever, like, you know. And uh, they still is always like, no, Alex, you need to appreciate the process of what you're doing. You need to appreciate the fact that you're not good at this. Sounds boring when you say it. <laughs> no, no, because... Every time I forget that, I'm like, okay, what Leslie would say. Yeah. Okay, you need to do that. You know that. the sentence, Alex? Progress, Progress not perfection. perfection. The thing is, yeah. you know, I was in, on IG um, this morning and I saw that quote and I was like, really? Oh. I a think law of attraction. It is know? a sign. Yeah. So um, that would be my experience, I guess, with failure. But what, what about you, Leslie? Because. I'm really curious and I, I know that you're pretty chill, honestly, like you're like, okay, it happens, it happens. Okay. never mind. <laughs> so what about you? Uh, first, I'm not a chill person. You know, if you were with me, like every second of my life, you would see a more anxious moment than chill moments. But I think it has improved uh, the last couple years. Why? Uh, I'm gonna say something kind of, <laughs> kind of creepy, but I grew up thinking, um, to whatever you do in your life, you are going to be dead one day. Okay. So it's, it, it sounds creepy, but this sentence can be a good way to motivate yourself to do like crazy stuff. Um, because you think I'm going, I'm going to do my best and don't have any regrets because you know, uh, don't take tomorrow for granted. So yeah. do whatever you want right no. now. Yeah. But in, sa in the same way, it allows you to think, yeah, so I don't be nervous to, for this exam, for this job interviews, because, um, you know, it's, it's nothing during a whole life, like, a, an exam, it's not, it's nothing, you know? Uh, so I'm not saying like be chill, mate, like, <laughs> you, you know, in every situation in your life, because I think when you, you, when we talk about failing here, it's not about really important stuff. Uh, for yeah. example, your health. Um, uh, I know like for some, especially for example, um, during this pandemic, you know, people, I like how, um, how I'm going to use um, my money to it's during the whole month, you know, so it's really complicated right now. So I'm not talking about this, but like really, um, because it's the best example for us, like failing at school, uh, during college year or not, uh, don't have your, you know, failing for a job interview or something like that. I know it's hard, but, uh, Sometimes, you know, 
sometimes not every time because i think it's complicated <laughs> but sometimes i think like okay so if i don't get it right now it's maybe because you know something else is going to happen to me about your question alex i did not experience an incredible failure that impact me uh like he like uh, you said um in fact because uh, you talked about your high school degree the goal for me was just to pass you know like uh, having my degree um with honors was it. was just a bonus yeah so my goal was just to pass um and go to college so that was it uh, i'm not saying i didn't work for it because alex and i worked for four months um <laughs> for this degree uh but this little voice in my head was saying you know just pass so you can have your degree and move on to college but 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 uh in november november took, what a yeah. month Ooh, dark month but um i took an english exam and i needed a specific score for one of my projects Ooh, it was uh the toffle so for some of you who doesn't don't know don't know yeah um what it is it's the test of english as a foreign language and before leaving um your exam room you already have half of your grade so you can have a pretty much idea of what your grade is um it was absolutely um not what i expected so of course i cried for the rest of the day you know i just had half of my grade and i cried um because i was sad right and also because i paid like 200 euros to take this exam that was expensive. so you know failing for me at this exam was really expensive <laughs> uh, not emotionally but also financially like... <laughs> um so a week after i had my final grade and i reached to have this score like not um like the right amount uh and honestly i didn't believe it so uh it's what it was weird because i experienced feeling but just for a week you know after <laughs> that i was like oh yeah what a great. <laughs> so yeah have you felt in your life yeah only one week <laughs> yeah only yeah. one week <laughs> so but i remember i cried like like i i i, I was going to die you know it was just a, a test, so I can't even imagine the day where I'm going to really fail. So, yeah. But I remember that day because um, also you guys need to know that um, Leslie took the test, but she was she only had one one month, so four weeks no, to two prepare weeks. it. Two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, you know, two weeks for an exam that some people take i don't know three months to revise is really short mm. and uh, i'm really proud of what she did because um if you follow the adventure on the episode of the podcast you know that november 2020 was um really weird and harsh and uh yeah not not good to us so yeah and um that is really inspiring also because in two weeks you can manage to do a test for other projects so that's really really inspiring so thank you Leslie for inspiring inspire yeah inspiring <laughs> each and every one of us oh thank you but uh you know I failed but just for a week so <coughs> it's not a real big failure <laughs> just for a week yeah yeah and um also I have a question because um we talked about failing and negative things but how do you manage to maintain a positive mindset when you fail at something that was really important for you? And um, yeah, how? Um, I think it's really hard uh, because you have this part of you who thinks like you are not good enough, like you, you, like you deserve to fail, you know? Like uh, for example, you didn't work as hard as you, should did oh that was hard but that I you should have done I yeah think. that's it <laughs> like you are not good it's at okay. it uh but having a growth mindset and saying like you are not good at it yet 
um, reminds you that nothing is fixed in your life, uh, your emotion, your thoughts, whatever. So everything can change and it can be scary because, you know, when you have something great in your life, you it can change. Like, for example, being out without a mask, you know, we did. We did take that for granted. Yeah. And now, and now we're here. Um, but it's a good way for being grateful for what you already have and being motivated to acquire skills uh, that you don't have yet. Uh, I know it sounds cheesy, you know, because I, I'm a cheesy person. Uh, being able to say, okay, what did I, what did I do wrong? So. Improving yourself will always be a better way to accept failure instead of I suck, you know. Um, so the growth mindset, mindset again, as you said, Alex. And of course, I think it's normal to be sad after knowing you failed, and that's part of the process, you know. Because if you're stressed, because if you are stressed um, from failing, uh, if you're sad, it means that. Um, this obstacle is meaningful for you. Like, um, it's important, whether it's an exam, a job, or, you know, like cook your favorite meal, like it's important for you. So I think sometimes we tend to forget that if, if you're stressed, it's kind of good thing because it means that it's important. And that's so, yeah. when you, you know that um, yes. It's failing still have this specific positive, uh, okay, <laughs> still have this positive uh, aspect on you. But yeah. um, see, I'm not like that because um, I am a positive person most of the time. Yeah. Not every time. No, not every day, but most of the, most of the time. But when I do fail or when I, I don't know, you are in this um period of time when you are waiting for something and then you don't know if you have. Uh, pass, pass or not, you're like, okay, so what I'm, yeah. what I'm going to do. And, um, so yeah, I tend to be like really, yeah, negative, I guess, not even negative, but I, I am just stressed about it. And I'm like, okay, yeah. don't want to talk about it, please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, trying to be positive, trying to distract my mind again. <laughs> so yeah, that is all I have to say. I was like thinking of what you were of what you were saying, and that was really deep, you know. I did turn <laughs> out a little bit of. A... <laughs> and the question, the big question is, we're talking about this failure thing, how how to manage to maintain a positive attitude, for, um, um, towards this thing. But why are we so scared of failing? Well, I do have an answer for that, guys. Sorry, Leslie. No, go for it. <laughs> Society. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> One word. <laughs> society. Um, society and yourself too. Yeah. Because society, just like you, you did, is the one uh, telling us that failing is bad. Um, when you fail, when you when you fail, or you're not good enough, you can't go to that college because you don't have the grade. Um, you're bad at it. So society, but also yourself because how you talk to yourself is how um you're gonna receive the emotion and receive um the impact just like you 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 told us leslie being positive can be really helpful in this situation because how you're going to receive the information and how your brain is going to process it is um yeah it's part of your mindset and you're going to build that that growth mindset too mm. then you know uh, i don't know how to yeah. say that but did you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I think like everything starts with your thoughts. Yeah. Because uh, your actions are um, done thanks to your thoughts. Like uh, whatever you do is because you think about it before. Um, so, and also how, how you say the word. I don't know how to say that, but, you know, uh, like... This expression, you know, if you see the bottle em half empty or half, um, yeah, um, I filled, don't know. <laughs> filled, filled up. Yeah, but, but I, like, I don't know. Uh, 
uh, which yeah. one is the good and which one is the bad so <laughs> it's like um seeing something empty like your bottle of water is it bad uh, how, yeah it's bad because you're like oh my god i don't have enough water <laughs> i'm gonna <laughs> die <laughs> yeah but if you see like half of your bottle of your bottle with water uh you're like oh that's great no i i still have like a half a little, of yeah. a bottle oh so it depends also how you see the word so yeah um for example um again in high school uh, i had this history class and the first test that i took uh, i had a really low low and bad grade and i was like okay i do suck at history which is not the case because i did work all year long and at the end i did get a, pre a pretty decent grade which i was really proud because also i did learn many many things until this day i still remember those things and that's how i can understand the world right now so see you again the process of learning mm. something in the past that is what you need to um remember guys the process trust the process and i also want to add something because you talked about the society and i think um it's even more easy uh it's easier uh, yeah. to <laughs> to compare yourself uh right now like in 2021 um with you know uh, social media okay uh youtube oh, whatever yeah, yeah friends even classmates Family? yeah it's it's really easy so even if you don't do it like consciously mm. i think your brain do it for you does it for you so that's why you yeah. need to focus on yourself and what you want to improve mm. yeah and not what people around you are doing even if they mm. are doing the same thing yeah because everyone is um doing their own thing at their own i forgot the world the speed word. yeah <laughs> okay speed. also um uh being foc fo being focused yeah being focused on yourself doesn't mean you don't have you yeah you you're selfish to... yeah it and also like yeah yeah um comparing yourself does not mean you don't have to, you know, um, being inspired. My sentence was awful, but uh, being inspired by people, you know, yeah. like um, if you say, OK, I want to do this job and this uh, man is my inspiration, that's OK. But you can't compare your life with uh, his man's life this man's life yeah yeah this man's life <laughs> everyone is different yeah so it's good to have an inspiration but don't compare it too much with what you're doing and about your question why are we so scared of failing yeah um we i think i think we are so scared of failing because we think failing is a bad thing as you said failing Failing is a bad thing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and others uh, will see us as, you know, the loser, especially when we are young, you know. In reality, you can learn so much by failing and not that much by succeeding. Uh, we also have a course. Of course. I said a course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we also have, of course, the society pressure and this toxic toxic productivity in the back of our mind the scariest thing is not to never fail but to never experience failure um because i'm almost 20 years old and i never really experienced failure which as you said is not a good thing uh so i know when it will happen it will be like even harder to accept that i failed because i'm not used to it <laughs> you shouldn't get used to failure of course but you should be prepared for it you know but like not you... too prepared because otherwise you're stressed yeah sure but you know you will fail one day and True. i think it's okay you know um there is this famous quote that explains that the strongest person is not 
the one who never falls, but the one who falls but manages to get up again. Ooh. By, um, <laughs> um, by, by who? I don't know. Okay. But We're the second search quote, that. the second, <laughs> yeah, the second quote is like the one who falls and get up and gets up is stronger than the one who never tried. Do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying. This quote is by Ro Binets, I think so. Roy, Roy Binets. Yeah. Um, so we did not talk um, too much about that, but sometimes because we think about a potential failure, we don't even try. Uh, and I think it's very sad. Uh, very, very be, sad. Yeah. You should be grateful or failing sometimes um, because it means that you have tried and in French we have this call like il n'y a que ceux qui ne font rien qui ne se trompent pas uh, which means only those who do nothing are not making mistakes True. and I think for the best example that we all, all have experienced is uh, relationships like Uh, you wanna, you have a crush, oh, a crush, I hate this word, but you have a, <laughs> <laughs> you made a, <laughs> okay, okay, um, you have a crush on someone, but you are too shy to speak with him or her, um, so you don't try, and you're like, yeah, no, I think he, it does he, look like me, but, he, yeah, exactly, how do you know? How do yeah, you exactly. Know? And it can be like love, but also friendship. Uh, it's the same. So, yeah. You need to try. Yeah, it's like, not even. Yeah. I think Sorry. like just it's okay. Don't even try is even like it's bad. Yeah. Worse than failing. It's so that's true. Yeah. Because you're gonna have regrets. So yeah. if you want for all the people that want to try, I don't know get in the musical, go to that audition. If mm. you want to try music, go try to learn how to do things by yourself and release your music. Even if people around you are going to be like, oh, that is cringy or yeah. um, you're not good at it. If you want to do it, do it because you never know when you're going to be dead. Yeah. And I just think like that, Leslie said, that is yeah. very true. And in my opinion, like it's just for me, right? But uh, the fact that you don't try is the failure like that is really you know, deep. oh my god i failed that <laughs> i know oh. you 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 watch me and you were like yeah that's it i'm i'm looking at the screen and i'm like whoa she was really <laughs> serious about that <laughs> so yeah but that's, that's very true if you want to learn that language mm. that even if the language no one is talking that mm. go go learn that language go mm. I don't know, do whatever you want, whenever mm -hmm. you can, because you never know what is going to happen after. So yeah, that is how we're going to end this episode on that yeah. very important note. Um, it was really great because it's, uh, it has been a while since we did not um, record something. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't have anything to say because, you know, Oh my god, okay, last time you told me, do you want to finish here, uh, this episode? I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, so... You're I gonna think... finish the episode today? Yeah. Okay, okay. I think so. Okay, okay, okay I'm, I'm going to do... I, I can't even, you know, do my Alex voice, but, um, like, guys, dude, sorry, please <laughs> subscribe if you like to, uh, <laughs> share it to me. <laughs> share it to your friends and your family um go check it out our instagram yeah because, we're gonna be super active on that yeah, actually i hope it because it's it, it's it's sweet you know we we spend hours for uh creating our let's talk post. about that let's talk about that let's go <laughs> what do you want to talk the fact that you spend so much time on making yeah. beautiful content and people But that's okay They no. don't even like that. They're like, oh no. Remember what you, you told us Progress. at the beginning? No, you told us do it for yourself. Self. That's why yeah, that you, your parents uh, told you. So yeah, so, you know, subscribe, Instagram, 
uh, we also uh, make write all the resources in yeah uh, we're gonna link it yeah sure and i think that's pretty much it so thank you for listening to that episode and uh hopefully you did like it if you did comment you. on the <laughs> thank you if you did thank you bye <laughs> Uh, for real, if you did, yeah, um, yeah, just let us know. If you want us to talk ab to about another subject, let yeah, us know sure. too. And um, you can write us uh, uh, by Instagram. And also, if you want to be a guest, that would be so great. Send uh, us an email. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye -bye. And see you soon.